to show you some of my favorite things and help you to understand why I like them. Some things will be a little bit more expensive than others. If you're looking for a gift for the person in your life that likes to sew, quilt, embroider, or has any type of passion for fiber art, well, this is the video for you. I'm going to go ahead and put links in the description below so that you know exactly where to go to get these items as well. If you are a beginner sewer, well, this is a perfect place to start. I'm going to help you understand some of the really neat items that are out there to help you sew better. Some people think it's cheating to use glue to put your fabrics together, but is it really? Think about it. If you put a pin on a piece of fabric and it holds it together, what's the difference between using a glue? This is the liquid based basting glue, and it is my favorite and I think most important item in my sewing arsenal. In fact, I know a lot of people when they come see me at a show, they're like, well, I can't really get anything because I've already spent all of my money and, but I can't, I just can't leave without your glue. So be sure to pick up a bottle of liquid based glue. It is a perfect little stocking stuffer or the perfect gift to give at any time of year for anyone who likes to sew more accurately and doesn't like poking themselves with pens or pinning the fabric. You're going to see a lot of videos on my channel where I use the liquid based glue. Know that it has two ends to it. It has a small end for doing fine detail work, which I use for binding. And a broad tip for piping and inserting zippers. What better way to sew a zipper in than to sew a zipper that cannot move on you? And the fabric and the zipper become one, and so the fabric can't pucker. And then you couple that with the pearls and piping foot which sits right on top of the teeth of the zipper. And so if any of you want to be able to sew zippers in together, this is a perfect little duo for you. The pearls and piping foot and the liquid based glue is a surefire way to sew accurate piping and put in zippers easier than you'd ever imagined possible. And this is the AppliQuick glue. This is what we use for patchwork applique for turning fabric under. This is a product that we import from Spain. Along with it, we have these tweezers that are ergonomic that make it so that if you know anyone who has difficulty holding things that are small within their fingers, well, these tweezers by AppliQuick, which is another ergonomic conscious company, these little tweezers allow you to hold the fabric without having to hold it with your fingers. It makes it so that you can hold the tweezers in just about any position so you don't have to really work to hold tweezers like you normally would. So what you do with the glue, and this is designed for cotton fabric. It is not intended for synthetics. It has a slower setting time, which affords you more time to actually form your fabric around the edge and makes it so that you can combine with the rods do circles as small as a quarter inch in diameter, and that is remarkable. So you put the glue on the actual stabilizer, and then you use, there's one rod that has a split in it, like it's a fork, and what it substitutes for is two fingers holding the fabric down. So you use that to hold in the fabric and it stops it from moving. But if you tip and put just one of the forks down, it allows you to spin the fabric around, making it uh, so that you utilize less muscles. It's much easier to do the fabric turning process without having to push down with your finger, lifting your elbow up, because that causes that burn and you know discomfort between your shoulder blades. The other tool comes with a point on one end and a spatula like shape on the other. And what that spatula shape does is it allows you to scoop the fabric up. And on the other end of the opposite tool is a little bit broader tip. So you have stylus and then your other end for the actual tool or scooping or fabric folding under process. So we just take and put your fork close to the edge and then scoop 
the fabric up and then hold it down and you can just move around much quicker than you can with other methods and if you've ever done this with your fingers before you know that your fingers can get very tired not doesn't take very long for them to get tired from doing that scooping movement that you have to do without using these and also we tend to absorb the moisture in the glue where these are non-absorbent at all so you won't end up having the glue dissipate quicker just because your body absorbed it you just move around like that and this is a beautiful smooth curve instead of a you know jagged edge that is so easy to have happen when you're using your fingers instead of these wonderful applique tools this stabilizer becomes softer after it's been washed and becomes virtually undetectable inside of a quilt making it fabulous for english paper piecing as well as your traditional patchwork quilt. now after you go ahead and you fold under your your fabric edges with the apricot products you'll go ahead and use our liquid based glue to actually lay down your applique pieces by simply drawing a line of the glue right along the edge of your piece slide your finger across ever so gently and then you just lay your fabric right down over the top and it is held in place without the need for additional fusing so your quilt will end up soft when you're finished there is a video that you will find on patchwork quilting the link is below and you'll see me do this heart shape on that video it is a live session so there is a lot of information in there with people interacting with me in the beginning of all of my live videos there is a lot of waiting for people to join in to the videos so be sure to go ahead and fast forward until you really see me get into the sewing part i have another wonderful product to help you with your applique and that is the crossover two machine that you see here on my table it is a really neat product that helps you cut circles you can see these these circles right here this is part not all of because in the actual die set you receive one and a half inches to six and a half inches in other words they are half inch increment circles going from your one and a half inch to six and a half inches and they're really thin and lightweight and they don't cause you any damage so you don't have to worry if you have children in the sewing room you can't they don't they can't cut themselves like they can with other die sets in addition to the circle set we have squares and the ever challenging drunkard's path die set which is mathematically perfect so that you end up with a actual perfect drunkard's path and i do have a video showing you how to sew all the way across without pinning or gluing your drunkard's path this is another mini circle set that is going to really excite those of you who like to do lots of grapes in your quilts with dies you can cut all of your stabilizer pieces out go up to the next quarter inch larger diameter and that is what you use for your fabric so it speeds up the cutting process so that you can get to the fun part and when i say they have the english paper piecing guys they have all of the different shapes that you would need to, to be able to complete any of the quilts that you see and drool over out there and fussy cutting has never been easier than with these dies because you can actually see right through them and know exactly what you're cutting you will find the crossover two machine and all of the dies in our website there's a link in the description below to help you get to the information on the machine and you'll see how easy it is to navigate at creativefeed.com through all of the different die options available to you know that this does come with a mystery die set and the mystery die set is not something you can buy ever by itself so that means that you don't have to worry about choosing other dies thinking you might be duplicating a die that they offered to you it is free and you don't know what it is and i don't know what it is and that way they can change it if they want to but know this it's beautiful just as all of the other dies are another sure thing is thread the threads that we offer at creativefeed.com are the highest quality threads that i can find this is 100 polyester 100 weight cottonized 
thread. And what does that mean? That means that the thread has had the, the shine of the polyester has been muted down to appear as if cotton. So it doesn't show up as much in your quilts. I really find this beneficial, especially for beginners, because you don't see your stitch as much. It doesn't bother you as much if it's not perfect. The Invisifil thread also comes in many king styles, and that size is the equivalent of that to 40 weight thread. So a 40 weight spool of, of thread is this big, and a 100 weight with the same amount of yardage is that big. That shows you just how much thinner it is. And it is a really important thing when you're working on sheer fabrics or when you don't want your stitch to show, like when you do stitching in a ditch or any hand applique technique. Needle turn applique has never been easier. And you don't have to worry about the thread shrinking, bleeding, fading, breaking, or rotting away like other natural fibers are going to do. Of course, the creative feet are what my entire company is based on. I am the inventor of these, the satin edge foot being the most important of the three creative feet, as I did design it for someone who was born blind and deaf. Her name was Mary. She was taking tailoring at the Braille Institute, and this foot eliminates the need for a serger. So if you want a serger, but you can't afford one, or if you have one, and you just don't want to have to get three spools of the same color for that particular project, know that you can just use one spool of thread, put this on your machine, and do a serger looking stitch. It also is capable of doing top stitching, edge stitching, pin tucking, invisible applique, applique, stitching in a ditch, charted needle design without the use of knitting needles, cut work without the use of a hoop, wire edges, fishing line edges, lettuce edging, trapunto applique, blanket stitch applique, edge joining, t-shirt hemming, eighth inch, quarter inch, scant quarter inch, seam allowances, and it hand sews for you. Not really, but it looks like it does. And that's how I sew my binding on and do what we call invisible applique, which is another way of doing hand applique or needle turn applique, all done by machine. This is one of three of the creative feet. All of them are just as important. The pearls and piping foot I designed for someone who couldn't open up her hands. She had hand sewed wedding dresses for so long that she lost the ability to open her fingers, which is why I'm so concerned about how you sit and how the new sewer sits when they sew. You shouldn't sit like this if you are while you're sewing. We'll know that eventually you could do some damage to your body. And we just want to have fun and sew for as long as possible without injury to your body. The other foot is the sequins and ribbon foot. And there's a video I'm filming right after this on how to make this wonderful Christmas pillow. This is a substitute for piecing your fabrics together. This is like the fastest way to do a crazy quilt. You will be shocked at how easy it is. So be sure to click on that link below. If you're interested in the creative feet, they also come in educational specials because this foot, you know, no matter what I do, I cannot get the sequins and ribbon foot or any of the creative feet to talk to you. So we have a book and a video to help you learn all of the things that they do. Normally you buy one foot, it does one thing and it really, you know, very rarely does a very good job and you're usually having to do the steering and how many of you don't feel that you can ever really sew a perfectly straight stitch? I mean, almost everyone, when I ask that, I have uh, over a hundred people surrounding my table at shows, I go, how many of you can sew a perfect straight stitch? And, and only like two or three people out of a hundred will say that they do consistently. And that's pretty good. And half the time I'm like, and do you have a satin edge foot? And they're like, yes, I do. And so they're making a joke. So why is it so difficult for us to sew a straight stitch? There's a video coming out on that very soon. Be sure to click on the link be below to learn why it's so hard to sew a straight stitch and how to make it easier. Not only using our satin edge foot, but just little tricks that you need to know. The educational specials come in two ways. You can buy it with the book version where the book is printed out. And this is a 208 page workbook. And in, inside of here are the feet and the accessory guides. Except the accessory guides make it so the sequin and ribbon foot can sew all different sizes of different flat trims. You can buy the book printed out and this is our way to go green version. This is a USB version of our book and video. You open it up and inside 
we'll find a USB stick and the USB stick has our book and video on it. You have the license to print the book out, make a copy for yourself. Of course, it is a copyrighted book as well as the video. However, you're able to take these, this video and book now and stick it in your cloud. That means it's forever yours and you don't have to carry this around after that. Once you put it in the cloud, well, you can take out your cell phone and read the book and go sit in a coffee shop and watch the video and look at the book. And then when you're ready to sew, well, it's right there, right next to you on your cell phone or your tablet, or you can use it on your personal computer. And we are and always have been cross compatible with Mac and PC. Each of the creative feet do attach to all sewing machines as they come with adapters that snap on to the foot, transforming it to whatever you need it to be. The only sewing machine brand that needs an additional adapter are Bernina sewing machines. If you have a Bernina, well, you're probably already aware of it. And if you're not familiar, go to creativefeet.com, click on the tools link, and in there you'll see the Bernina adapter options that are available for you. You only need one adapter, and then you can use our feet. And if you're concerned, know that we give you a 30-day money-back guarantee and a lifetime exchange warranty. Even if you drive over this with your car or your dog, chews it up. As long as he spits it out, we give you a new foot. And after 31 years, we have had two dogs chew them up. We have had two people drive over the satin edge foot with their car. This is what a satin edge foot looks like after it's been driven over by how much does a car weigh? If you know how much a car weighs, can you put it down in the comments below? Because I'm thinking a ton, that's a lot of weight. And you can see that the foot is still actually a foot. It's a little bit tweaked. But the nut actually turns and it's not pretty anymore. And it can't sew in this condition. But we didn't care. We gave her a new foot and I asked for it back simply because I wanted to see what would happen to one of my feet after they were driven over. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I sure hope you'll do so today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.